Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ah, oh, what's up, baby? What's up, Saggy, baby? What's going on in the life of a Saggy during y'all birthday season between the 16th and the 31st of December? Hmm. Hmm. Are we healing, nurturing, moving towards shit, making moves? Fulfilling soul contracts, are we? Are we needing a bit more patience? Are we seeing things from different perspectives? Mend and fences? Duality, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. Um, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can assist you better um, without profanity, all right? But I'm a cuss. To all of my new returning, um, new and returning subscribers, y'all, hey, y'all, what's popping? New family, we cry, we, we don't fight a fuss, we leave that shit on people channel, we are a little dysfunctional, we do share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. Positive shit only over here. This is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I do do emergency reads. Get your reading specials in. I'm going to be posting numerous reading specials the month of December, okay, because I understand it's Christmas time, but two, because I'm going to take me a badass break in the month of January. I'm going on vacation, I'm working on other endeavors, and I'm going to be expanding, um, even the way that I do things within my channel and my structure, all right? So, I love y'all very, very much. I ain't going to talk for too long. This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Sagittarius between now and the 31st of December. How we ending out this year? Spirit message will come first. We're going to get it. So, Sagittarius, what I got for you guys, I feel like a lot of you all feel like you've been given to situations or stuck for that matter, giving to situations, okay, or stuck, possibly, I, I feel like it's having to do with the perception, okay, but I feel like for some of you all, during this time, there's definitely a need, whether you are a mother, okay, or for some of you all, you're definitely needing to express your authentic self as well as heal a foundation and move towards healing with your mother, because I feel like some of you all have been internally holding things in. And for some of you all, it's truly feeling like you have to be this way or a certain way in order to be accepted by some type of mother figure, grandmother figure. But the fact that I'm hearing ancestral and hereditary, it's a part of your soul contract, baby, to release this cycle and actually speak your truths, but speak them with a shift in a... In a, in a let me say, what's the word I'm looking for? Speak them with an array of perspectives. Take yourself out of yourself and see that person's perspective as well so that you can understand, even if you talked about this before, that justification of their errors and maybe give them a new understanding as far as your own philosophy to it. Some of you all, during this time, if you are mothers, some of you all really, 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 there's this focus on movement and movement towards abundance. And I feel like, Saggy, you are abundant. It's how you choose to see abundance in order for you to move forward and see past what you can't see here in the physical okay yeah, but some of you all could also be seeing some type of um some of you all if you have ancestors that passed on during this time some of y'all could also be seeing your ancestry in your dreams during this time during holiday season and i feel like it's having to do with you holding on to the hurt of losing them and they just want you to know that everything is okay and that they're happy where they are okay they're at peace they're at ease so do not be alarmed and take your butt to sleep, all right? During this time, Sag, I feel like, hey, a lot of you guys, who these nails? Y'all be trying to grab these cards. Okay, some of you all, you're definitely going through a period of expansion within the heart chakra. And truly, truly, truly moving 
and trusting to move on what you feel and and allowing love without being afraid and running from it but being able to accept it not from a place of traditional aspects of religion religious belief of how people feel that you should be in a relationship or how your relationship should go but I feel that during this time, a lot of you guys really want to express your love and receive love from a whole space. Okay? But some of you all, especially if I'm talking to um, my women who are mothers, okay, or who had issues with their mothers, I feel like for some of you all, as well as the men, there's this need to heal the foundation of your perception around the issue with your mother during this time in order truly see love not from a space of how you were raised and how you were taught to see it but from a space that's individual and authentic to yourself your higher self the self that you're looking to move forward to evolve in it. some of y'all there's a need to open up your heart space work on your heart chakra during this time for some of you all your crown chakra is on fire some of you all are really wanting to express yourself. Some of you all are really wanting to start over, but start over and walking in your authentic truth. Okay, for some of you all, it's um some of you all really want to move forward into doing some type of like spiritual work as far as like public speaking, um, mentor work. Some of you all, um, I feel like with the expansion of your heart space, you really want to help others with that same expansion and share that perspective and really, really, really. Offer others a greater perspective based on your life experiences and where you've been. Because now, what what you saw as your truth at one point, which could have been, you know, betrayal, hurt, I can't trust, I can't be vulnerable. Now you're looking at life as I had to go through this in order to bring me to this to, to, to this greatest space or to this pivotal space in my life. You get what I'm saying? Where I truly get to decide. And I truly get to live in the truth that best suits me, my truth. No one else's opinions. I could give a fuck about them, but my truth. I'm able to see my circumstances and my past situations with a greater understanding of not just my own perception, but the other person's perception. And some of you guys are realizing you're in love with that person. You could be the mother of your child or this. You could be the mother. But I felt like it was that understanding and that actual firm foundation, that, that, the, rock, that the rocky foundation that your belief was built on around your perception of the trust issue that you may have had with your own mother or that needing to be acceptance. I'm also hearing narcissistic mother for some of you all. Which subconsciously you haven't even been realizing, even with living life, how much of her you have carried amongst even in your relationships with not trusting deception, moving forward, inconsistencies. But that was your perception of things. Though you could see it in that relationship. Now you're able to look that monster in the face and tell that monster, I no longer fear you anymore. And find that balance and that duality within the self to want to be receptive to gaining that enlightenment. And finding that balance within the self with what it is that truly, truly, truly is worth waking up and breathing for a sage. Finding that balance in the light side and the darker side of yourself, not not weighing one one greater than the other, but finding a median a, 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 a median a median spot, or or finding a, a mid ground. Okay, my words been all fucked up today. Y'all bear with me. So contract time. For some of you all, it's time to mend those fences so that you can let that heaviness go and truly trust and, and trust love and be optimistic and trust that you are divinely guided. Some of you all are having very revelationist dreams during this time. 
Some of you all are dreaming of someone who you could have moved away from from the past or who you could want to move towards. Maybe there's a mother figure that is kind of standing in the way of that or your perception of how she will view you making that decision, you know, could be in the way of you loving and expressing that love and finding that balance and harmony, okay, to close out those hereditary cycles, especially for those of you who came from broken homes. And maybe, you know, you could have been dealing with someone who you had a child with who came from a home that was, or who you love, okay, not even necessarily have a child, who you love, who you're in love with, who come from a home that's not broken, yet they still had that sense of abandonment issue and that acceptance issue, which is why you guys needed one another, which is why you could have had to move away from a situation or move away from a person to gain a better perspective. So Spirit is saying with everything that you've learned, it's about you taking what you've learned and taking that wisdom and actually using that and incorporating that in your everyday life. But looking at it from a space of gratitude, not grief, not heaviness, not resentment. The angel message that I pulled for you guys is patience. Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Progress, not perfection. I ain't telling you go bust down the windows and go bust down somebody damn door to have this communication. Because both parties have to mutually, mutually agree to want to fix something. I am saying it is okay to have, it is okay. To be patient with yourself, yet trust that it's you got the green light to make that movement or to be receiving to that movement. Some of you all, some of you all, especially who are mothers, some of y'all are going to be finding out y'all pregnant during this time. Sash, congratulations, local love the kids, boo. Some of you all really want to start a new beginning, okay, or have a new beginning, a passionate beginning, and nurture the relationship possibly with someone who you have children with. Okay, or someone who you could actually see um, you growing with. Okay, this could be a Virgo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or this could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like some of you all really want to send a message of love, or you could have been, you could be waiting to hear from someone, another fire sign, or this could be a cardinal sign, um, Aries, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Cancer. And I feel like you want to send this message or receive a message on how to fix things, how to move forward, how to how to nurture a relationship, how to come to a compromise and mutually finding that meeting place of achieving the same goal, even with two different views of looking at things, just with the same damn game plan, okay, the same damn out, out, outcome. Some of you all, this could definitely be someone who you could have walked away from in the past, okay? Or um, someone who could have walked away from you. I definitely feel that this could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also be another Sagittarius or Pisces. But I feel like you could be reaching out, okay? And you're reaching out and you're wanting to nurture a relationship, okay? You're really wanting to have that solid beginning. You're ready to be vulnerable. You're really ready to express yourself to this person. And really, yeah, you want to hold on to this edge or somebody trying to hold on to you. They coming in and offering this truth and clarity, okay? And I feel like someone could have moved away, or moved away from someone without giving them any clear communication, you know, when moving away. I feel like someone moved away and began to work on themselves, okay? And I feel like now they're seeing, or now you're seeing that this situation is worth holding on to, this worth putting the work in, work in for, but this after coming out of the cold or someone else wanting to come out the cold and give an offer. Sad, you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces person. You could have actually left a Pisces out in the cold, or Pisces could have left you out in the cold. But I feel like you or this other person in the past, maybe someone could have also been very controlling. 
Maybe someone left because someone was controlling them. Maybe someone left because they felt like someone else was taking advantage of them financially. But now you're wanting to come back. And now this person's wanting to come back. I do see an apology. Some of you guys will either be apologizing to someone or giving out an apology during this time. Some of you all, some of y'all are, some of y'all are wanting to find harmony in a situation that you felt was very toxic in the past. Or some of you all could be wanting to find uh, harmony within a relationship that you feel kind of bind to by children. But spirit is needing you to gain a different perception on how you look at it because it's not binding, especially if you actually have a family with this person. And you guys both want a family structure. You, you guys both want stability, yet neither one of y'all really know how to communicate with one another, okay? And this definitely could be someone who you have children with or someone who you've dated in the past who you have history with. Yes, Ash, you're going to be making a judgment or someone's going to be making a judgment about you this time, during this time. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the water sign. This person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel like this person, you and this person both could be focused on your money, okay? I feel that one person wanted a family in the past and someone was more so attached to um, unhealthy behaviors, drinking, um, partying. I feel like lies, deceit, control, manipulation, the mind fucking, the narcissism. Sad you or this other person, be careful as well during this time. Because someone could want to come back due to the fact that they see you financially stable or likewise, okay? Make sure that they're back for the right reasons. And that they're not coming back to be a damn leech like the ones you just got rid of in the month of November right before your birthday season, okay? So let's clarify. Spirit, why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Some of you all could also be thinking about starting a business. I feel like, what are you dragging your damn feet for, Sag? The time is now. Yeah, some of you all really want to manifest, or you've been trying to manifest a soulmate relationship or a new beginning, possibly with an Aries or a Leo. Okay, or another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of you all, why the devil here? Yeah, some of you all, you want to give an offer to a Capricorn towards Virgo or you want to receive an offer, okay, but this person could already be attached or married or have a family structure. And I feel like you've really been in your head about this badge because you ultimately love this person. You love this person. You know that this person is a soulmate. For some of you all, you could have cut this person off or this person will be cutting you off during this time to um, possibly fix their family. They're having to walk away from you to fix things in their family structure due to their children. Why the temperance card here? And sad, you could have walked away. Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all are cutting off. Um, some of y'all are actually going to be able to communicate sternly without the play play, okay? Instead of being defensive like you were in the past. Some of you guys have gained a little bit more patience due to life experiences and life trials. You've learned to overcome your hurdles and look at your obstacles as from a victorious place. Not one of a place of burdensome, oh, well, I've been through this and I've been through that, okay? For some of you all, Sag, I feel like, especially if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, some of y'all could be cutting off this person. Sag, some of you all have a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. I feel like this person is just very serious, okay? But I feel like this person is being deceptive, uh, deceptive, is being very cold towards you because they feel that you're coming back with this deceptive behavior or you may feel that this person is coming back with a deceit but either way somebody's zero for the shits why is this eight of cups here for my Sagittarius why is the eight of cups here yeah but some of you all you could have walked away from someone a fire sign or a water sign in the past due to fights okay conflict turmoil I mean, well, conflict yeah turmoil chaos I felt like um, this could have also been external people around you, you know, really kind of in your business and kind of in your relationship and kind of, you know, butting in and giving a damn opinions, all right? But yeah, Sag, for some of you all, ooh, Sag, some of you all really want to move forward, possibly with the Leo or possibly some of you all could also be receiving truth and clarity about children, sorry, 
to assist you in moving forward, okay? And for some of you all, this could be with an Aries person or a Virgo. Some of you all want to move forward with an Aries or you could find out that someone sad, someone could tell you the truth or situation that you wanted to hold on to is no longer available because maybe someone um, could be actually starting a family during this time, all right? And I feel like intuitively you felt that there was a reason why this person could have been being defensive towards you or you know maybe this person maybe intuitive like something just didn't sit right in your belly about this person even with making this offer okay for some of you all it could be a scorpio but for some of you all someone's walking away sag someone no longer wants to hold on to this they don't trust it why is the why's the hangman here yeah, some of you guys could have wanted to reconcile with the Pisces and work things out during this time. Make an offer. Possibly after leaving this person out in the cold. Or this person leaving you out in the cold. For some of you all, it's an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of y'all, it's fire. But I definitely feel like someone wants to come out of the cold and make an offer. And I feel like it's a slow moving offer. But someone, someone wants to hang on. And to clarify this four of pentacles. Someone is going to be communicating that, hey, look, I've moved on. I took that leap of faith. For some of you all, someone's going to have to cut someone off and leave someone out in the cold to take to to take this offer to receive it, okay? But I definitely see offers being made. Some of you all, um, this person could actually communicate that they do want to hold on to the relationship and take a leap of faith and try to, try to uh, reconcile and redo, get a restart or a renewal. Some of y'all, that's the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. Some of you all want to move away or move back towards possibly the mother or father of your child. Okay. This could also be Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you all just really want to focus on your money and actually move away. Some of you all, okay, will physically be moving during this time. I feel like in the past, it was you, you was having a hard time with making a decision, okay, with which way you wanted to go. But I feel like Sash has been this energy of just sitting still. No more. No more. Some of you guys are mending fences in order to move forward. In order to. I don't, I don't want to look back on any damn thing. No, I'm, I'm hearing no unfinished business. Some of you guys could be moving some of you guys could want to move towards a cancer or some of you guys are waiting waiting to hear from someone or waiting for someone to come towards you. But maybe you feel like or maybe this person feels like, you know, you and this person, I feel like want to work on a relationship or work on some foundation of a friendship or love partnership. However, someone has a lot of options. Someone could be moving away from you, Sag, or you moving away from someone because they have a lot of options. Some of you all. You can definitely work work it out, okay, with someone. You could definitely reconcile with someone, and it looks to be positive for the most part, as long as both parties are willing to communicate honestly and be vulnerable with one another and move away from the past. But I definitely feel, for some of you all, you want to put in that work. You really want to make things work, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel that either you or this other person will be setting some clear boundaries during this time, Sag, in order to truly let another person know I'm not going to accept what I accepted from you before. Some of you guys. Yeah. Some of you guys, now that there's stability in someone's life, all right, I feel that some of y'all want to move towards and move forward with someone who you have children with or someone who you've dealt who you've been in a relationship before, someone from your past. Yeah. For some of you all, okay, some of y'all it is someone who you have children with. For some of you all, um, be careful during this time if you're not trying to have babies because the energy of pregnancy is up in this thing, all right? For some of you all, um, you're really wanting to renew love with the past life partner. For some of you all, it's a Taurus, all right? But I definitely see reconciliations. I definitely see momentum. I definitely see movement. I see a lot of healing energy here, Sash. I see new love. I see, um, yeah, I see new love. I also see just people. I see definitely, this is just really a judgment call. When I say the new love, I see the magician here. For some of you all, there's a new start and you have everything that you need after getting this clear understanding and this closure that you need. But I feel like for some of you all, you're very passionate and you really want to start start anew with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
or you really wanting to come in and fix things, okay? For some of you all, you need to make a judgment because for some of y'all, you don't trust this person. But really, really be at one within yourself why you don't trust this person. Or maybe Sash, this person doesn't trust you. It could be mutual. But I definitely feel that that could change with a clear communication and an understanding from both parties. Not only an understanding, but a compromise towards a solution. If it's going to be fixed and worth having. A relationship is a two-way street. All right? So with that, this is what I have for my Sagittarius between now and the 31st of December. I will see you guys at the first of the year. I love y'all very, very much. Merry Christmas for those in the States and outside the States who do celebrate. Happy Hanukkah, etc. Um, much love, much light, peace and blessings, y'all. I send y'all so much love. And y'all have a beautiful rest of December. Love y'all. Namaste.